Good morning, Grade 8. I'm Sir God, and I'm here to help you in your mathematics subject. So, for today's lesson, we're going to talk about undefined terms in geometry, Grade 8 mathematics. So, simulan na natin. Okay, so pag sinabi natin undefined terms, ito yung mga pinakamahalagang bagay na dapat mong malaman bago ka mag-proceed dun sa mga next lessons under geometry. So, ano-ano itong mga important undefined terms na kailangan mong malaman? Una is yung point. Pangalawa, yung line. Next is plane. Okay, so those three undefined terms in geometry are the building blocks for the rest of the subject. They are like big cinder blocks that are first placed in the bottom of the house. Without these blocks, the rest of the house could it be built. So, ganun ka-importante itong tatlong undefined terms na to na point, line, and plane. So, para silang sila yung foundation ng isang bahay na kung hindi mo maiintindihan yung foundation, hindi mo maitatayo yung isang bahay. So, ganun ka-importante itong undefined terms. So, isa-isahin natin siya. Okay, so unahin natin itong point. So, ano ba yung point? Point has no length, no length, no width, but indicates a position or a location. It is represented by a dot and name using a capital letter. Okay? So, pag sinabi natin point, yes, para siyang isang tuldok. Okay? So, kung papansinin mo, yung tuldok is wala siyang length, wala siyang haba, at wala rin siyang width, wala siyang thickness. Pero, it indicates a position or a location. Kasi, malalaman mo kung saan nakapwesto yung point o yung tuldok. No? So, kapag pinapangalanan mo yung isang point, we usually use a capital letter to name a point. So, gumagamit tayo ng mga capital letters para pangalanan yung mga points na yon. Okay, so ang next natin is ang line. So, ano ba yung line? Ang sabi rito, it has infinite length. Okay, infinite, hindi natatapos. No width, ibig sabihin wala siyang kapal or wala siyang thickness. And extend infinitely in two opposite direction. Okay, hindi natatapos yung kanyang, yung kanyang length. Okay? Uh, it represent a straight line with two arrowheads located in the opposite. Ibig sabihin ng arrowheads na yun is the line is extend infinitely in opposite direction. So, a line is named by two of its points with the symbol, ito, yung symbol na yan, written on the top of the letter. So, ang gagawin mo is kukuha ka ng dalawang points. So, for example, ang points A, B. Tapos, ilalagay mo yung symbol, arrowhead sa dulo, ilalagay mo sa taas. So, that is what you call line. It's line A, B. Okay? So, a line may also name by one small letter or a number. Okay? Pwede rin namang small letter. Pwede rin natin pangalanan ng number. Kapag small letter, isang letter lang. No? Kware. Line L, line M, line A. But if you're going to use two letters, you are going to write it in capital letter. Tapos, merong symbol ng line sa taas. Okay, pwede rin naman natin siyang uh, pangalanan ng number. O, line 1, line 2, line 3. Tatlo yung pamamaraan natin para pangalanan natin itong line na to. Okay? A line has its parts or subset. Yes, correct. Mamaya, ipapakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung mga subset ng linya. Meron akong example dito. Kung makikita nyo, we have meron akong isang line. So, mapapansin nyo, yung line na to is merong dalawang arrowhead sa magkabilang dulo. At meron siyang tatlong points. We have A, capital A, capital B, capital C. And, meron din siyang number 3 at number N. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin pangalanan ng line 3 and line N. So, gamitin muna natin yung mga points. Gamitin natin para sa kanyang pangalan. Okay? So, this line can be named line AB. Okay? At ayan yung symbol niya. Next is line AC. Pwede rin yung line AC. Next is pwede rin yung line BC. Okay? Kasi ang sabi sa definition, pwede kang gumamit ng dalawang dalawang points dun sa line. Okay? Next is pwede rin natin siyang pangalanan ng line N at line 3. Okay? So, that is line. 
Okay, so punta na tayo sa subset of a line. Meron tayong dalawang subset ng line, which is the ray and the line segment. Pag-usapan na muna natin itong si ray. So, ano ba ito si ray? Ray langit? <laughs> no, hindi ito si ray langit. So, what is ray? Ray is a part of a line that starts at one point and extend infinitely, infinitely in one direction. No? Mag-start sa point, tapos dire-diretto siya papunta doon. So, paano mo malalaman na dire-diretto siya infinitely? Makikita nyo kap kapag ray yung line is meron siyang point dito sa dulo, tapos yung dulong point niya is merong arrow. So, kapag ganun yung symbol, ang tawag doon is ray. So, pwede namang dito mag-start, pwede namang papunta dito yung infinite direction niya. Ang tawag doon is ray. So, meron tayong example dito. Ito yung mga rays on line 3 or line N. So, ibibigay natin yung mga possible rays in this particular line. So, sabi ko, isang point tapos isang arrow. Ang mga rays natin sa line 3 is ray AB. So, as you can see, uh, nag-start ako sa point A tapos nag-extend ako dun sa, sa point C. Papunta dun sa kabilang direction. Next naman is ray BC. Okay, so nakikita nyo yung symbol niya. Capital letter BC tapos yung symbol ng ray is nandun sa taas. Okay, that's ray BC. Okay, next, ray CA. So, from C, pwede rin namang sa kabila, CA, no? No need nang i-shift yung arrow pa kabilang side kasi it means na ray naman yon. Okay, so ray CA. So, from C, doon naman sa kabila yung extension niya. So, punta naman tayo sa line segment. So, what is line segment? Line segment is a part of a line that made up of two end points. Okay? So, pag sinabi nating end points, stop lang doon. Kaya nga tinatawag nating segment. Ibig sabihin, portion lang ng linya. So, hindi siya magkakaroon ng arrow sa magkabilang dulo. Kasi pag may arrow yung kabilang dulo, line na yon. Kapag yung isang side naman yung may arrow, tapos dito point, ang tawag naman doon is ray. Tama? Pero kapag yung line is, ang dulo niya is point lang, ang tawag doon is line segment. Kaya ang sabi dito is a line that made up of two end points. So kapag two end points, yung isang linya, ang tawag doon is a line segment. So magbigay tayo ng example using this uh, illustration, line 3, no? What are the segments on line 3? So meron tayong ayan, so ang mga line segment natin is line segment AB or segment AB. Okay, so ang symbol niya is just capital letter AB and then the line segment above that letter. Okay? Next is line segment BC and line segment AC. Okay? So, yun yung dalawang subset ng line. Ano nga yun? Number one is ray and number two is a line segment. Okay, so dito naman tayo sa plane. So, ano ba yung plane? So, ang sabi rito, it is a flat surface extending infinitely in all directions. Uh, pag sinabing extend infinitely, wala siyang specific measurement. Basta, extend lang siya in all direction. Okay, ayan. A plane has infinite length, infinite width, but has no thickness. Four-sided siya. So, yung length niya, extend infinitely. Tapos, yung width niya, extend infinitely. So, wala siyang exact measurement. It is usually represented in drawings by a four-sided figure. Pwedeng square, rhombus, rectangle. Basta ganun siya kung i-drawing natin. Kaya kung mapapansin nyo, yung example na nandito, four-sided polygon siya. So, this is a rhombus. Okay, so ganyan siya i-represent yung ating plane. So, to name a plane, you can use a capital letter written in the corner. So, makikita nyo yung isang letter na naka-italize, capital letter na naka-italize. So, yun yung pangalan ng plane. Or pwede rin siyang pangalanan using non-collinear points in it. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga plane, kadalasan may three non-collinear points. So, naka-scattered yung tatlong points dun sa loob ng isang plane. So, pwede rin natin siyang pangalanan using three non-collinear points. Kung papangalanan natin tong plane na to using three non-collinear points, ito ay tinatawag nating plane PST. Okay, kung... Gamit naman yung isang letter in the corner, this is plane R. 
Okay, so tapos na yung ating video lesson with regards to undefined terms in geometry. So what you're going to do now is comment your significant learning. Kukomment nyo sa baba kung ano yung natutunan nyo dito sa video lesson na to. Kasi iti-check yan ng inyong subject teacher. Okay, so if you like this video, can you please like, share, and subscribe para updated ka sa mga video lessons na i-upload ko. Thank you so much. God bless and have a nice day.